Good morning, guys. I am 20 weeks pregnant today, which means I am officially halfway to my due date, which is really, really exciting. However, I am sure that I will go past my due date. I have just been, from the beginning, um, preparing myself for the fact that that day will come and go and there will be no baby. So <laughs> I, if she comes before her due date or on her due date, that will be great. But um, I am just prepared for that day to come and go and for it to be at least another week before she gets here. The other exciting thing this week was that I had my anatomy scan on Monday and that was really cool. My husband got to come with me. He was able to get a little time off of work in the morning and then just work later in the afternoon. And um, it was pretty cool. Like he got to see more than I did because the screen is like up here by my head and he was sitting like in front of me so he could see it um, the whole time. I couldn't really see until the end when she was showing us just, you know, for fun pictures. And um, so he got to see her moving all around and kicking and playing and I didn't really see much of that and we also have a very uncooperative child she was she let the um, ultrasound tech get all the measurements she needed for the doctor but when it came time to do cute pictures she was just not having it um, she we didn't get very many good pictures she never got into a position where we could get a good profile shot um, not the whole time even when the um, tech was doing the measurements for the doctor she was never in a good position for a good profile shot she was looking straight at us the whole time. So I'll show you the pictures we got, but I'm telling you, none of them are very good. Let's see, let's cover my name in my doctor's office. So this one is kind of hard to see, but it's like, this is the top of her head, and then these little dots over here are, are her fingers. So um, it's like the top of her head looking down, and then her hand is like right here. So that's, you know, these are the kind of shots we were able to get. Then, let's see. This one. Cover up. I'm sure you know what that is. If you've seen the ultrasound picture, it just looks like an alien. So this is like her brain up here and then her eye socket. So it's her face looking at us. And down here is like her abdomen. So that's like the only picture we got of her. And then this one. Being somebody who has spina bifida, and it's been something that's on our mind, whether or not this baby will, um, obviously we won't know anything for sure until the doctor takes a look at the results and lets us know, but we did get a really good shot of her spine, and that appears to be a perfectly healthy spine with no, um, nothing sticking out, no protrusions, no um, spinal cord coming out. So that, that was a really special picture to me, even though we couldn't get a profile picture of her, I would trade that to be able to have this picture where I can look at her spine and know that it's looking pretty darn good. So obviously, like I said, we won't know anything for sure until the doctor goes over the results with us, but um, my ultrasound gets done right there in my doctor's office, and I think if there was anything major, I think if there was anything major to be concerned about, they would have pulled the doctor in right away. So I feel good to have that done. It was awesome that my husband got to go and see her moving around, and um, it was really cool. The other thing was I did ask about the baby's position. She is butt down right now, so she's got a long time to move down to the head down position, but as of right now, she's butt down. And in fact, when, you know, they make you drink, I think it was 20 ounces of water I had to be finished drinking with before, um, half an hour before my appointment. So um, I was, I drank the water just fine. I actually ended up drinking more like 25, 26 ounces because I really didn't want them to cancel that appointment. And um, we're sitting in the waiting room, just kind of joking around, laughing, and I was like, oh, I don't have to be that bad. And then they called my name, and I stood up, and right away I was like, whoa, <laughs> like, everything just dropped down. I really have to go. And she was like, oh, I'll try to get those measurements for you first so you can go to the bathroom. Then we get in there, and she puts the probe on my stomach, and she's like, well, your bladder's not that full. Oh. And she's like, it's not that full, but she's sitting on it. <laughs> I was like, oh, perfect. And she never left my bladder the whole time, and we were there for about an hour and 15 minutes and she moved around but she was just like punching and kicking my bladder and moving like along my bladder so that kind of explains why I've been having to pee all of a sudden so much like I constantly am like oh my gosh I have to go right this second or I'm gonna pee my pants so I guess that makes sense because she likes to hang around on my bladder um what else um oh I've mentioned this before but I was a nanny for a couple of years so like three and a half to a family that had three kids and the youngest was six weeks old when I started watching him and he is now five. I stopped working about two years ago um, when I had, well, I stopped working about a year and a half ago 
um, when I had some back surgery, but I still watch them occasionally if they have little things that come up. And so I watched their kids this past weekend and we were a little bit concerned because I'm so close to these people. In fact, the mother and I are really good friends. She wants to throw my baby shower. Anyway, um, so we see these people all the time. They actually come to my house occasionally for like barbecues or whatever. And so I was a little bit concerned that that youngest little boy was going to be jealous that I am having a baby of my own because he has been particularly attached to me. Even once I stopped working, he calls me occasionally. He's a very, very sweet little boy. And, um, you know, I loved all those kids and um, I still love them and they have a special place in my heart, but um, he in particular is very attached to me since he was the youngest and um, I had him often when his siblings would go to school and he and I just spent a lot, a lot of time together. And so um, he, I was a little concerned how he would react. Well, I walked through the door and he came running up to me and he starts so softly patting on my belly and he says, so how's your baby doing in there? <laughs> it just made me laugh. And he is completely fascinated by this whole thing. And throughout the night, he kept, um, he said, mommy said that she can only eat when you eat and she's hungry. So here, have a cracker. And he kept bringing me like string cheese and all these little snacks because he was like, Luciana is hungry. Here, eat. And I was like, okay. And then what else did he say that was pretty cute? Um, at first he was like, so how's she going to get out of there? And I thought, I am not explaining that one. And I was like, I don't know. I've never done it before. You'll have to ask your mom. He was like, oh, Okay. And then he said, um, oh, he says, can I hold her when she come, when she gets out? And I said, sure, you can come over and I'll help you hold her. And he said, no, I mean at the hospital when she's brand new. And I was like, sure, you can come to the hospital and hold her when she's brand new. And then he says, um, when she gets bigger, can she be my girlfriend? So, so far there's no jealousy. He thinks it's very fascinating. Oh, and he kept touching my tummy and wanting to feel her kick, but you can't really feel it on the outside yet. So that was cool that um, that was a little bit of a concern because like I said, we do spend a lot of time around them. I was afraid that he might be a little jealous, but he's just super fascinated, thinks it's the coolest thing and can't wait to meet her. So that's pretty neat. Um, what else? Oh, my boobs are finally like gigantic enough that I cannot put off bra shopping anymore. I think I mentioned way back in like my eight week pregnancy update that my bras didn't fit anymore, but I am a cheapskate and I did not want to have to like buy bras and then outgrow them and buy bras again. So I have been putting off uh, absolutely as long as I possibly can, but now I've got like boobs coming out the side and boobs coming out the top and it's, and it's to the point where halfway through the day, they, it hurts from where they're digging in. So I think this weekend I'm going to have to finally go and buy a couple of bras, even my sports bras, you know, those are more forgiving and less uncomfortable, but they're still coming out the sides. It's ridiculous. So I'm finally going to have to go bra shopping. So if you guys have any recommendations of places that sell good maternity bras. You know, I am planning to nurse, so um, I don't have any objection to buying bras that can then also be used as nursing bras. Of course, they're probably like going to get bigger once she gets here, which is just insane. They're going to be like up to my neck soon. But um, anyway, if you have any good recommendations of places that you love maternity or nursing bras, definitely let me know because obviously I've never done this before and I have no idea and I don't have any friends who um, nursed very much. So I don't have anybody I can ask. And my mom obviously hasn't nursed in like 30 years. Well, 26. So she has no idea either. Anyway, um, I think that's all for today. I will go ahead and show you my tummy. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. I'm going to address weight gain. So I gained another two pounds this week. I think I gained two last week and two this week. And I'm up to like almost nine pounds overall. And I'm only at 20 weeks pregnant. So I know that obviously I'm going to gain weight, but that seems a little bit excessive because you're only supposed to gain like 25 to 30 pounds the whole time and I'm already nearly halfway there and I know I'm halfway through my pregnancy, but the real weight gain hasn't really even <laughs> begun yet because she only weighs like a pound or maybe even less. I'm pretty good when I, throughout the day and lunch and dinner and snacking, but um, I really take a nosedive after dinner. I, I like eat ice cream. And the other big problem is that my husband is so, so sweet and wants to do anything he can for me. So um, if I happen to mention like, oh, Reese's Pieces sound good, the next thing I know they're on my countertop and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't. <laughs> Just because it sounds good doesn't mean I should eat it. But you know, if they're there, obviously I'm going to. So I'm going to try to rein in that evening snacking because I think that not all of this weight gain is her. I think that some of it is my eating going downhill. So I need to get back into control. And I'm glad that I'm taking my weight every week and staying on top of it because it would have been awful if I had like all of a sudden gained like 25 extra pounds at the end of my pregnancy. So um, 
I'm okay with some weight gain, but I just feel like at this point it's a little excessive and I need to just eat, make better eating choices. Not necessarily eat less, but make better choices about what is going into my mouth. I'm also to the point where I'm having trouble sleeping at night and getting comfortable, which seems like so lame to say because I'm not even really that big, um, but I'm big enough apparently. So I'm going to look into ordering a pregnancy pillow or a sleeping pillow, or body pillow, or whatever it's called. I've heard really good things about the Snoogle, so I think I'll start there, but I haven't really started doing a whole lot of research about it. So if you have one that you absolutely loved and you swore by, then definitely let me know because um, I, I need something. I'm only gonna get bigger and more uncomfortable. So I think that I'm going to start really looking into that. Anyway, I think that's everything for this week and I will show you my 20 week baby bump. So this is what the tummy looks like from the front. You can't really tell on this dark shirt. And we'll go to this side. So she's right there. And with the shirt up <laughs> and the maternity pants down. She's getting it's getting kind of big. So we'll go ahead and measure. Let's see. So last week we were 35 inches if I went right around my belly button. So let's do that again. Oops. Yeah, it looks like we're 35 inches again, right around the belly button. And um, I had up two pounds, so clearly that's a me problem, not a baby Luciano problem. So I will see you guys next week when I am 21 weeks. Like I said, definitely let me know about um, pregnancy pillows and bras for maternity and nursing. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.